All right, today we're going to show you how to build a table for your balcony. a uh, little end table for an umbrella um, for our back patio um, I'm going to use four by four and some deck boards and I'm going to make it about two feet high and about two feet wide and then we're going to drill a hole in the center board so you can fit the uh, umbrella in and we already have a base for our umbrella what you will need uh, I got, my, got uh, my miter saw possibly skill saw level safety goggles tape measure drill gloves and a carpenter's triangle Okay, so we got the four legs cut out. Now we are going to cut this uh, piece of deck board in two feet, four two feet uh, pieces. We got all the, the sides cut, so what we're going to do is just kind of knock off some of the frayed edges and make, just make the edges a little bit smoother before we uh, start working on the base of the table. So we're going to take the other uh, boards and we're going to add them right here to each side and then we will have the base of our table and we'll add some on top and boom. All right, so we got the uh, base of the table. And so I'm gonna design it to put an umbrella in the middle. I already have a base that will go here. And so I'm gonna put two support beams, you could call them from here to here. I just measured that as 22 inches. So I do have a table similar to this that I made and I've just put one beam across the middle. But since I'm putting an umbrella in the center, I'm gonna just put two um, braces here and or 22 inches and so that's the next step and then after we do that we will start laying a top on the top and i will take a drill bit to drill a hole in the all right now i got to turn in the center and i'm going to put a drill hole in the middle and then get enough to get up and get it. I 
I did have to get my drill bit uh, for these. I felt like the wood was about to start cracking, so. And this table's kind of made to look uh, rustic, and I know it's not the finest piece of um, carpentry, but it, it's gonna be very sturdy, durable. I don't know, it's gonna have a good look, rustic look to it. All right, so this is a one and three eighths. It's the exact same size as the umbrella diameter. Here. Now, I'm gonna put this hole right in the center of this table. Uh, if I was thinking, I would have done this first because it helps to have a piece of wood up under here so it doesn't splinter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clamp a piece of scrap wood up under the center of this so I can drill a hole cleanly through it. Use this bit, I'm gonna just drill a hole in it with a smaller bit. project ended hassle free but about five inches short I cut I cut this piece off before we started because it had a huge crack in it and that would have left me with enough so it's like I'm going to lose Got some more boards. Got a uh, bigger bit to uh, widen the hole. Some more sandpaper to so knock this thing out.